out of all your certs, what what was the most challenging certification? Um, like, how, how, like which which one gave you the most trouble? Like, which one did you fail the most, or which one did you almost fail? Like, talk about like the like the hardest one. <sighs> the hardest one so far. Hmm. I'll still say CPTS. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, it's CPCS. Um, I know I've done a lot of certifications. Um, I've I've run through a lot of challenges in a lot of those certifications. Even in OSCP, I I remember when I was doing the Active Directory Lab, uh, when I I, I saw the standard law machine, I was working on the active the, the the Active Directory, and I spent about six hours on it without even getting you know having a perfect direction to go. So it was challenging as well. But CPTS is on another level. Uh, I almost failed it. Reason is because I, I know the exam is about 10 days. I was able to finish the lab on the ninth day. And I have only one day to write report. <laughs> so oh, wow. it was very, 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 very challenging. Uh, CPTS is the most challenging is, is you know, certification I've ever written so far. I will rate it at the top. Then maybe I can now say after that, I'll still pick CRTO. Then before we CP. Even uh, the Hill and Security Certified Pension Testing and Stream, that one also is on another level. All those certifications, have, <laughs> they are very, very crazy on their own different levels. But the challenging, most challenging, Certification is CPTS for me personally. All right, so that's good to know. Yeah, just another another point for CPTS. It just keeps racking them up. It keeps <laughs> slanting all, all the other ones. Uh, so uh, my next question is: So um, has having a lot of certifications ever negatively affected you? So the reason why I'm asking that is because there's a lot of people who, you know, they're certification haters. You know, like I have a lot of certifications. I have thirteen. And, um, you know, I've been told that like, oh, you have too many certifications and, you know, it doesn't equal, you know, real world experience. And people talk about how people with a lot of certifications, they get into the job and they can't perform well. So have you ever had any issues with someone saying like, oh, you have, you know, too many certifications and it doesn't look good or anything like that? Or um, I've seen, I've, you know, seen a lot of criticism on that, uh, even to me personally. But one thing about me is... Um, um, I write certifications for my own development and s training, personal growth, not because of the paper. Um, the paper is just, you know, a proof of your achievement. Uh, but for me, my main goal or um, my major reason for certification, writing multiple certifications is because I want to learn more. I want to train my own to upskill myself and all that. So, and... The thing, one thing I always tell people is having a lot of certifications helped me land my first, first job. I landed my first cybersecurity job because I have a lot of certifications, hands on certifications. The employer, not even the, the, the funniest part of it is when I was hired, they hired me for not because of the skills, my skill was just an additional. The major role was even, I never had experience on what they were hiring me for, you know. But because I have some soft skills and some software skills and all that, so that kind of helped to give, you know, give the, uh, give the employer potential, you know, give you insight about, uh, let's give this guy an opportunity to work with us. So... The one thing that I always say is certification, if you are applying for a job, for example, and if two people are applying for a job, one person has a lot of certification and the other person doesn't have certification, right? The recruiter will pick the first, the person that have a lot of certifications to reach out first. If they are trying to weigh the options, they will first reach out to the person that have a lot of certification. So those are the example or those are the ways these certifications help on your resume is it you might be saying okay you're doing training you are but at the same time adding those into your resume helps a lot i i were most of whenever I was, when i was applying for a job i get multiple 
interviews every time a lot of people don't get interviews they're always like well, how did you get interviews how are you getting interviews you know so so education I, I've never ever you know say anything negative about it uh, even though everybody have different opinion about it but for me it's something I love to do for my own personal growth and development at the same time it's helping on my resume having those certification and I've received a lot of criticism on that that you have a lot of certification on why are you doing this you are wasting your money I was like don't worry about it let me be worried about that you know so um yeah it's i mean it's one of those things that happen everybody with their own different opinion but it is what it is and uh i never i will never stop you know training or learning because of you know negative comments or, or the certification if i see any certification i love and i love the training uh i want to be a part of the training i will sign up for it and go for it not because of the paper but just because of the training that now we you know, all the knowledge that we acquired because of the training. And another thing I want to add to that is when we, all those trainings are transferable, all the skills are transferable to the job. I've done a lot of public team engagement. I've done a lot of uh, pen testing. You perform all these type of attacks that we do in the lab. We perform same thing in the real world. Uh, in the real world. So it's still the same skill. The only difference is you know, we have a lot of security stacks in the corporate environment compared to your training lab, you know, but it's still the same skills, it's still the same tools that we use in the lab that we still use in the corporate environment. So it's, it's, it's still very, very much useful when you're taking a lot of training. So I won't say anyone should stop taking training or certification because someone, you know, gave a negative comment about it. Yeah, I've received some negative comments about it. And, uh, but overall, I, you know, like I said, I had 13 certifications and, um, I, I do the same thing as you. Like I, I don't, I'm not chasing the paper. I'm just learning. Uh, my goal is to learn, you know, three or four new tips and tricks. And if you can learn three or four new tips and tricks, um, and add it to your tool belt, then mm -hmm. that's, that's really what a certification is to me. Right. Um, and, and to keep your skills sharp on the existing skills. Cause a lot of those certifications overlap, you know, right. and, um, I really do take the same approach as you, you know, I don't look at it like, you know, chasing the paper. Mm -hmm. um, especially now that since, since I got a uh, full-time penetra penetration testing job um, right now, it's just, it's just, I want to provide my client more uh, value yeah. and for their pen tests. And I, the way I do that is I have to keep training. And um, cause like I said earlier, I don't know everything about everything. So if I can learn three or four new things, from each certification I get, then that's, I think I provide so much value to, to everybody. Yeah. Like you said too, like having a lot of certifications has been nothing but good to me. I mean, there's no recruiters and hiring managers and, um, that look at certifications negatively. I think the negative comments are, are usually from people who don't have certifications either because, um, you know, they, for various reasons, I think it's, um, because they can't afford them and maybe they're a little jealous or maybe they, they just don't have the skill set or they don't have right. the time to study this stuff. Um, so I, I don't know. I think that the negative comments are just more from a, a place of jealousy rather than, you know, actual constructive criticism, you know, because like someone who has a lot of certifications will never critique you for having a lot of certifications, you know, right. <laughs> but it's it's been nothing but good to me. And I have no plans on stopping uh, anytime soon. I mean, I'm. I'm slowing down my the the rate I'm getting certifications because I'm going after harder ones. So I'm I'm not cranking them out as fast as I used to because they're getting harder and harder. But I still want to get you know more certifications under my belt. So right. yeah, they definitely. I think honestly, certifications have been the number one key to success for my career. And like I said, it. I always I get two or three recruiters hitting me up every day, every day. Right. They're like, hey, are you in the job market? <laughs> And I'm like, no, I, I got a job. Thanks. <laughs> right. You so should... yeah, it's always help no matter what. It's always help on your resume. If you enjoyed this clip from the Hackers Cash podcast, do me a favor and hit the like button and subscribe for more hacking and cybersecurity content. And if you want to watch the full episode, you can get that by clicking here. Or if you want to watch the best video for you according to the YouTube algorithm, you can get that right here. See you in the next video.